Welcome into Post Game Live, presented by Cure Auto Insurance. Ashlyn Sullivan, Al Morganti here with you. The Flyers lose this one to the Boston Bruins 6 to 0. We knew this was going to be an incredibly tough competition after the Flyers were on a hot streak, winning seven of their last eight games. And now this was a bit of a measuring stick game, even though that term is overused. Mm -hmm. You sweep the Washington Capitals, you're feeling really good about yourselves. And now you ask the question can they at least hang with the top teams? And this game kind of showed you're not quite there yet. At least this afternoon, Ashland, they, were not, they weren't quite there. I mean, Boston, I mean, the Flyers ran out of gas and the, the Bruins are on high octane right now. They just made, they made the most of every chance. The Flyers made mistakes, couldn't cash on their power play. Uh, they couldn't, they turned the puck over. It was just a, a case of they didn't have, they could not match the Bruins. It's real simple in this one. The Bruins were the better team from the drop of the puck right till the, right till the last, uh, sign, right, last whistle. Absolutely, and that leads us to our Colonial Nissan game changer, David Krejci, three assists for him. And this is a guy, Al, that you talk a great length. Every time the Flyers play the Bruins, it's the thorn in the side and, and a guy that just won't go away. Yeah, that's him uh, putting his arm up. He's thousandth game. They gave him an ovation. Then they continue to give him an ovation throughout. Here on the first goal, he gets a big assist right here, sending it across, setting it up. He sets it up right there to send it across ice, and that's one nothing. So he's got his one assist. By the end of the first, by the end of the period, he doubled that number. Coming in, another great play right here. Set up a, just a rocket there by Zaka. So Krejci, before the game's 20 minutes, it's old. He's already got two assists. Now it's three nothing going into into the second period. And once again, I thought he was going to actually get this goal. Ended up going off the skate. So it's uh, another one's and it's three it's three assists already. And he has been just a nemesis to the Flyers for a decade now. And he sets up those plays. And he's a quiet player, but he's a solid player. And the Bruins just they're they're an engine that runs with everybody knowing where they should be. And they did it all afternoon. It's incredibly disciplined. So many playmakers, so many names you could talk about on the Boston Bruins team. But that leads us to a storyline that we follow today in today's game is Carter Hart being benched and Sam Arison being placed into the game. And it wasn't like Carter Hart played this atrocious game. And I understand understand why John Torrell probably will say we just wanted to see if there maybe was a spark. Yeah, they needed to do something to try to change momentum. I thought Harrison played very well once he came in, but there was nothing that was going to change the momentum here in this game. Harrison actually made some pretty good saves, came in. I don't think any moment is too big for him right now, but I think hard at that at that point, like John Tortorella said, we got to do something right here. It, it didn't work because the Bruins just weren't letting up throughout the game. Right, and John Tortorella did tell reporters this morning before this game that Carter Hart is our number one guy, and he does Deserve the chance to play today after how he gave them a chance in the Washington Capitals game, especially in the third period. And now you pose the question, we were unsure of who was going to start today. Now who starts tomorrow? I would think it would be Erson, but, you know, they've got so many games coming up. This is a back-to-back -back situation, so I would think that would be the case. But I don't know in this one because... It's, it's hard to read John Tortorella anyway on what's going on and see exactly where, what, what the feeling is after a game like this. But they've got so many coming up. I mean, there'll be chances here. And then Chicago's in later in the week. So I would think they go to Ayrson and then go back to Hart. Yes, lots of options because the Flyers play five games mm -hmm. in seven days. So a very busy week here in Philadelphia for the Flyers. Much more to come here on Post Game Live presented by Cure Auto Insurance. We go to the locker room to hear some player sound. We have storylines. Much more to talk about as the Flyers fall to the box. Austin Bruins today, 6 0. Stay with us. Flyers Post Game Live is presented by Cure Auto Insurance. See how much you can save at Cure.com. 